Right, I'm going to show you a quick tour of this solo cabin, edge cabin with infinite veranda. Um, here's the back of the door, so it tells you where your um, master station is. So mine's in the theatre. It's not far from here. Also tells you your life, back, life jackets will be at the assembly station. The do not disturb sign, it's usually the same, both sides, <laughs> deep sleep. Come in here and there is a wardrobe. Plenty of space for dresses in there. There's also more space down there. Oh, that noise is the announcement. There is a umbrella down there and a dressing gown and loads of hangers. The announcement is telling people to go to the muster station, which I've already done. Um, so there's a... Oh, hang on, the phone's going. Oh, that was a lovely phone call. It's from Concierge, welcoming me on board. Me, bleh, can't talk properly. Welcoming me on board. Um, I'm saying to contact them if I have any problems, which I don't expect I'll have any on this ship, because cruising, this is my third cruiser celebrity, I think. Excellent, always excellent. So. Uh, really looking forward to this short break. Um, there's things going on in private life that are uh, not directly related to me, but, you know, like someone in the family who's not that well. So um, I am kind of prepared to jump on Eurostar and head back if need be. Um, more to support my husband, but we shall see. Um, I am just travelling to Europe and he will actually be in Belgium as well, um, but not with me. Um, but yes, do you know if life happens and this vlog series may be cut short, um, but I'm sure you all understand. Um, anyway, let me show you the rest of this beautiful cabin. <laughs> so I think I'll show you the rest of the cabin first and then we'll go to the bathroom and show you in there. So, oh, so this, I'm being messy, sorry. These are all like the things that I had in the room when I came. So like today's little newspaper, um, spa stuff. There's a spa menu there, which I might have a look at. There's some room service menus over there. Um, there's water, but that's not included and the crisps aren't included. So if you are traveling with a kid or something, you might want to hide those and put them in the mini bar or something. Um, there is a a card to contact my, um, my stateroom attendant if I need to. She was lovely, I've met her. Katisha, she's called, but she said to call her cat. Uh, celebrity have Effie on board, so they've got um, where you can, oh, I don't know if you can see that, not if I throw it around like that, hey, um, they've got different charms that you can go to Effie and collect and put inside this. So, I mean, I don't really wear jewellery, so I never really do that, but if you want to, probably be a lovely gift to people or for yourself to remind you of what this lovely cruise was like. I think the charms are, so there's a few ship related ones, like ship um, charm, captain ship reel, a celebrity X one. So yeah, it's nice, a nice little thing to do. Um, then we've got some draw, well, no, we've got the mini bar here. So the mini bar does have some drinks in it, but they are extra pay. Even with the drinks package, they are charged extra. So just so you're aware. Oh, and then we've got the safe here and a laundry bag there. I think I get some kind of laundry offer on here actually with my loyalty because all my Azamara trips have um, accumulated points as well before they sold Azamara. So yeah, we'll see. So excuse my case. I'm trying to do this so you don't see me in the mirror. <laughs> um, there's tea and coffee making facilities here. Um, there's no milk. It doesn't matter so much for me because I don't really bother with milk always. But yeah, you might want to ask if you want milk. There are lots of plugs there. Um, and USB as well, which is handy. A lovely mirror to do makeup or your hair in. Uh, a phone. Desk space there. Um, here is the bed. Very comfortable. Queen size cashmere mattress 
with, oh, I can't remember what the um, bedding's called. Exhale. I think it's supposed to be like, excuse me, um, temperature controlling uh, sheets and stuff. Anyway, um, it's comfortable. <laughs> and I like, I've been in there before, it had an orange theme being celebrity um, edge class, but we've got purple in here, which is lovely too. A uh, huge TV there. You can watch the safety video on that when you get to your cabin. Um, there's some live TV channels. There's lots of movies. Um, I did say that there's a way that you could mirror... Um, mirror... Uh, what are they called? Streaming services. You, so you can mirror them onto there. I don't know how that works. I'll check that out. Um, there's also, you know, like the usual bridge cam and all that sort of stuff. So that's handy on there. Some nice artwork behind there. Nice colour, red. And then we go to this side of the cabin. Uh, side of the bed here. Um, bedside table and a plug. I can't move this light of the way, it's fixed. But there's a plug there, an American plug. And there are two USB sockets. That's handy. Um, and because this is a solo cabin, cabin rather, you don't have anyone to have to share them with, so that's good. <laughs> uh, this is the Infinite Veranda. So these are kind of love-hate concept. Now, I'm very much in the love um, field, love camp, but I... In my job, change is constant, so I have to embrace change. And, you know, change is good. And I don't think I'd like an infinite veranda all the time, but definitely occasionally. Um, I think Caribbean-y kind of cruises, I'd like an outside traditional balcony. But like this, a Northern European one, I think I, I like this. And I liked it on the Beyond. On the Maiden Voyage, I had an infinite veranda solo like this, and that was was lovely. Um, I've had it open, really, this afternoon. I've kind of been a bit of a um, recluse. And I've come to the cabin, I've done some work, I had some work to do, some emails to answer and stuff. But um, I thought, well, do you know what? The ship is going to be busy. People are wandering around getting to know the ship, especially if they've never done celebrity before or never been on Ed class. They're going to be wandering around and finding their ways. Like, I want to, to photograph, because that's what I do and that's what I love doing. And... Um, like, I don't want to photograph people, bless them, when they're on their holidays. So I think I came here to chill and do some work. Um, and, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to have some early mornings on this ship and go up and take some photos, um, like, with a sunrise. And, yeah, when it's quieter. Because um, people on their holidays don't want me snapping pictures. And, um, and that's what I love doing. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh, there's a ship about to come past, a um, cargo ship. This is the only passenger ship in Southampton today. Um, there's going to be five in tomorrow. I think it's the Clear Conference at the moment with travel agents. Um, and tomorrow, I think they're going to be doing lots of ship visits. Anyway, back to this cabin. I digress. I'm sorry. Um, so I love this concept. I think it's great. And in, even in the solo cabin, you get the two chairs. So if you've got a friend on board, you can always invite them here to sit down. Or you could put them together and have your feet up. <laughs> um, it's, yeah. Uh, that's a very short ship. Mm, very short. Um, I'm going to take a quick photo of it. Oh, there we are. <laughs> um, so, in this veranda. So, this is a... Oh, just having a read. Someone sent me a message complaining about celebrity. Um, so this door opens and closes so it can separate this into an actual balcony space. Um, and then, as you can see, so these buttons change the blind that's on the, the um, window. So then you can make it dark and black and add out the light. And then this other side, do the window, move that up and down. It does say um, the captain may close the window due to weather or cleaning. So it may close on its own. Um, please ensure the furniture doesn't block the blind. 
so it's not. Um, I'm close the veranda window to stop the front door blowing shut. So if you're opening the door of your cabin, don't do it whilst your window's open, basically, if you can. Um, yeah, it is a lovely little cabin. Let me take you to the bathroom and show you there. So this is the bathroom. Um, spacious, considering it's a solo one. Um, yeah, it's lovely. Lovely artwork, the lovely like marble effect, uh, the usual cruise toilet. Uh, there's a bin down there, extra tissues. I'm not sure how many tissues I need. <laughs> uh, flannels, soap, body lotion, towels. And then there's a shower in here that opens out. Oh. And yeah, very nice shower. Complimentary products in the corner there. A bar to put your leg on, shave your legs. <laughs> I was in Captain Kate showing that. There's um, some hooks in there. If you want some hooks. Yeah. That's a solo uh, edge infinite veranda cabin. 